Welcome to Enterprise Alert and drag and drop notifications. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the ability to forward an alert on via drag and drop from our alert center. Uh, this can be useful when utilizing not personnel as a primary response team uh, to screen for issues they can't handle and having them forward them on to uh, the secondary response teams. This takes what used to be a completely manual um, process and automates large aspects of it. So now we have Enterprise Alert actually managing all call schedule, um, automatically escalating up through that uh, on-call team uh, based on primary team members, backup team members. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, send an alert from SCOM. And so you can see it fires up in the alert center. Um, we're going to click the alert center so we can take a look at the alert. And as this opens up, um, what we're going to be looking at uh, is now as an operations personnel, uh, we're going to open up this alert and take a look at it and see uh, if it's something we need to work with or if it's something that we need to pass on to uh, another team. Uh, so we read through it and see that it's something we need to pass on to our SCOM team. So we're going to go ahead and close that out and do a search for the SCOM teams. And we'll see the ones that are actually green here are actually on call, uh, have all call schedules. So we're going to take it and drop the alert onto that team, the SCOM Northwest team here. And you'll see those teams go orange, so now they actually have active alerts. So we can click on it and see the alerts that they have active. Uh, we'll open that alert back up. And we can see um, it's all the same information. Team changed, obviously. You can see that it was forwarded on. Um, now, now what's happening is it's trying to reach out to the primary person that's on call uh, based off the on-call schedule that's being managed within Enterprise Alert. As that phone call fails, it's going to escalate automatically up to the second to the backup personnel. And as you can see here, it's going to send them a push. Uh, so you'll see the push pop up on the mobile app here on the right side. So there's the the, um, the alert popping up in the mobile app. So we're going to go ahead and open that up, and you see here, uh, same basic information, and we'll click on it, see what uh, see the information there. Uh, we'll scroll down through, see the escalation chain, and see who they tried to reach out to, see that it was forwarded. Uh, we're going to go ahead and acknowledge that, and I type in, uh, got it, to let them know that we got it. And as we acknowledge that, you'll see that it actually, uh, basically real time, acknowledges back into uh, Enterprise Alert as well. So we'll take a quick look at the uh, on-call schedule um, for the SCOM Northwest team. Uh, you can see we have the primary and backup personnel. Backup here is highlighted now. Go to the primary tab. We have primary personnel here. You see these on-call. Uh, so that's how we that's how it's managed in the system, and that's how it escalates up to um, the people. So we'll go back into the alert, um, back at Enterprise Alert. I'm going to go ahead and close that out in the mobile app, uh, the alert out in the mobile app. And so basically the team got the alert and decided we're going to restart something. Uh, it's going to fix the issue. Um, so we're going to annotate that here as we close it out. And you'll see here that it, we close it out. It closes out immediately. You see an uh, enterprise alert, it closed immediately as soon as we closed out the mobile app. So, so that's how you can manage your um, on-call teams uh, utilizing uh, operations personnel uh, within a knock or something to that effect. And that's you know, utilize those people to actually uh, forward alerts on to uh, your on-call personnel.